All right, hello and welcome to another video. In this video, I wanna talk about lens warmers. Now, it may seem simple of how to use one, basically strap it on your lens, turn it on and off you go. But I wanna talk about some reasons why you do lose, use a lens warmer and how to use them properly. So the reason you'd use a lens warmer is because if you're shooting in really cold environments, it's very easy for the lens to fog up or frost up. So like I'm doing now, shooting some astrophotography, it's really, really cold as you can probably tell by, the, uh, by my breath in the air there. So it's very cold and the lens will frost up if I'm sitting here for a period of time. So especially when you've taken the lens out of somewhere warm like a car or a backpack or something like that, um, the glass will fog up. Now usually what I used to do before having a lens warmer was just wipe the lens with some alcohol wipes and it would seem to hold off the frost for a while but eventually it would frost up. So if you are going to be doing a lot of things at night, especially astrophotography, star trails, anything that takes a little bit of time, I highly suggest you do invest in a lens warmer. Now. They're really simple. You do just strap them around your lens towards the as far towards the glass out front glass element as possible, and you just turn them on. Now most of them, like this one here, has three heat settings: low, medium, and high. Um, that's just going to depend on the temperature of where you are. I set mine to medium for the most part, just because it doesn't get really really cold here. But um, the reason you wouldn't want to put it on high all the time is just to conserve battery life because most of these you have to run off a USB source of power. For me, I just use a power bank. It's like a 10,000 milliamp power bank or something like that and it lasts for ages so um, I just run it on the medium setting but again it just depends on where you are if you're somewhere really really cold like somewhere in the Alps or something and it's night time I'd probably use the hottest setting but for me the medium setting seems to work really well and it keeps the frost off the lens now in terms of um, why you'd want to use one of these as well or sorry the way you'd use it is you do strap it on the lens as I said but what I do when I first get to a location I strap the lens heater on and I let it heat up and I just let the camera uh, or let the lens get to temperature basically because it's a really strange thing but your lens could actually come out of focus as the temperature changes. It's not so much of a problem with modern lenses but older lenses um, because things are moving inside shrinking and growing with the temperature changes your focus can come out of focus so if you've got something in focus and you're shooting over the period of an hour or something by the end of that hour the focus point may change so lens warm will keep that nice and consistent and if you do turn it on well before taking your photos let the temperature uh, sorry let the lens get up to temperature and just stabilize then you shouldn't have to worry about that so i come here well i come to site i put the lens warmer on i let it sit there for five minutes or so just to get nice and warm and then i dial in my settings and then i start taking photos i don't want to set my focus and then put the lens warmer on and then have the focus change because of the heat later on so i make sure the lens warmer is on basically the first thing now one problem with lens warmers is they can cover your focus wheel or your zoom wheel so what you might have to do is put the lens heater on let it heat up and then if you do if you can't get access to your dials or your um the barrels you can just take the lens warmer off quickly change what you need to and put it back on luckily for me if i grab the actual lens heater and twist it i can change my focal length and my focus wheel is just a bit behind the heater so um yeah, I've got enough room just to adjust my focus without having to take the lens heater off, which is really nice. But yeah, if you can't do that, if it's covering your focus or um, focus or zoom wheels, if it's a zoom lens, you can take the lens heater off, adjust it, put it back on carefully, try not to knock the barrel out of focus. Um, but yeah, that's it. For the most part, they are pretty easy to use. But like I said, I do put it on first before taking any photos and I let the lens get up to temperature and stabilize a little bit because like I said before, if you do put it on, uh, if so, if you don't put it on until you're about to start shooting and you've already set your focus, it may drift out of focus a little bit by the time you finish shooting because the lens has come up to temperature. As I said, not so much of a problem with modern lenses, but I still do that just in case. Um, all it takes is the tiniest bit of focus to come out and your images are ruined. So um, that's basically how I use a lens heater. This is just a really cheap one off Amazon for $20, Australian dollars, so really, really cheap. And I just bought a power bank that I could power it off because um, most of them, most of the ones I've seen need USB power. Um, so yeah, very easy. Just wraps on the lens and off you go. But yeah, that's about it. Really, really simple. I just wanted to give you those tips because there's a lot of people out there I've seen chuck their lens heater on just when they're about to start shooting and they'll just start firing off shots as soon as the lens heater is on the lens and they've only just turned it on. But like I said, give it some time to heat up and give it some time for the lens to come up to that temperature um, and for everything to stabilize. Give it like five minutes, 10 minutes is good and then start shooting. And like I said, dial in your focus and stuff once it's warmed up because it may change if it cools down or if it um, warms up. So yeah, that's a bit it. Hope you enjoyed this one. Hope it was helpful and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks very much for watching. <laughs>